let's have a look at some key words and definitions in this topic. So, a tally. So, a tally is the counting the number of times that something happens. So, often we use our little tally marks like this to record that information. Frequency is just saying, well, okay, how many times did that occur? So, in this case, my tally would be 5, so it's got a frequency of 5. A cumulative frequency is when I'm adding things up. So, I might start by saying, well, how many students do I have in my class who are 14 years old? Okay, and maybe I've got 3. Then I might ask, how many students have I got in my class who are 15 years old? And I've got 7 of those. And how many are 16 years old? I've got 10 of those. So my cumulative frequency, well, I'm going to start with the 14 years old. I've got 3 of those. Then I'm going to combine the 14 and 15 together to give me a cumulative total of 10. 3 plus 7 gives me the 10. Then I'm going to do a cumulative total of everything. So far, 14 and 15 and 16 year olds. And there are 20 of those altogether. I've gone 10 plus another 10 to get the 20. Now, if I'm using the word probability or proportion or relative frequency, they all mean the same thing. It's just knowing what is the chance. So if I ask the relative frequency, it's another way of saying what's the probability. Data, well, that's just looking at what, we, what information we have. The distribution, like in that table there, it's the distribution would be all of that data together. Discrete data, that's dealing with count data. So when I'm counting, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., they have to be whole numbers. Whereas continuous data, that is our measurements. So measuring the height, measuring the weight, um, I can get values of, you know, 22.36 kg. All right, so I can get decimal values, and I'm going to use some kind of measuring scale or ruler or something to get that information. And then an outcome. So the outcome is of things that I could get. So if I get a, um, if I roll the dice and it happens to come up with a six on top, that would be the outcome of that event. Um, if I tossed a coin and got a head, that would be the outcome. A sample space, this is the list of all the outcomes. So for example, if I'm rolling a dice, all of the outcomes, what could I get? I could get a one or a two or a three or a four or a five or a six. Those are all the possibilities I could have. And that's what the sample space is, a list of all the possibilities. Now an event, that's something that has a number of outcomes by chance, like rolling a dice. And trial is how many times you repeat it. So if, do you roll the dice just once? Do you repeat it and roll it ten times? How many times do you carry that out? Frequency, we just had a look at that. That was the number of times events occurs. Equally likely outcomes. Now this is an important one. This is often something students can get a little bit confused with. If I'm talking about equally likely, it means that all the outcomes have the same probability. So for example, if I'm tossing a coin and I get a head, then that's the same probability as me getting a tail, at which is a half. So 50-50 chance I get a head or a tail. Those are equally likely. Similarly, if I roll a dice, the chance that I roll a, and get a 1 on a dice is 1 out of 6. Now that's the same probability of getting a 2. There's 1, 2 out of 6 possibilities. That's the same as the chance of getting a 3 on my dice, or a 4 on my dice, or a 5 on the dice, or a 6 on a dice. Those are all equally likely. So it doesn't have to be that the probability is equal to a half. It just has to be the probabilities are the same. Okay, um, and this is the next one is just a little bit of notation. We'll often write P and then in brackets we'll put what it is that the outcome that we're looking for is. Now independent means that something is done without being influenced. So if I go into a dairy and I want to buy something, I'm just choosing something because that's what I want. If I was, if I was making the decision and I wasn't then making an independent decision, I might go in with my friend Notice that my friend has bought a drink and go, oh yeah, actually, yeah, I do want it. And then I change my mind because of what else I've seen. So my decision then isn't independent anymore. 
And we also mentioned about the relative frequency is just another name for probability.